Alright guys, for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to hide, delete, and even freeze apps. Now this is for those devices who don't have the option of uh, hiding apps. Like uh, the one I'm using right now. It doesn't have an option for, <clears throat> as you can see, hiding apps. I'm sure you've probably heard of those apps that act as calculators and are secretly can hide photos and some apps that you have. We're going to be using one of those today. So for this you'll need of course a rooted device. If you don't know how to root your device I'll leave a link in the description below. And you'll need a, an app called Smart Hide Calculator by IDS Studios. This can only be done by a, a rooted device and if you don't have a rooted device then it's not possible. So let's go check the app on Play Store. So guys, this is the logo of the app, <clears throat> and this is what the app will look like from the inside. It looks like a simple calculator and even works like one, but it can uh, really help you hide your apps. There is a glitch to this app. The hide files option that it has, it doesn't actually work. But the freeze and unfreeze apps option works so you can basically hide your apps and even disable them for a short time. As you know there are a few system apps like uh, I, I have this device from Sprint so I got Sprint Zone. Then there are a few Google system apps like Play Movies and TV, Play Music and Play Books, Play Newsstand. Some of those people actually don't use these apps and they really don't actually <clears throat> want them but you can delete these apps as their system apps it also frees those system apps as well as you can see I've already installed the app right here if the app doesn't install from Play Store you can use the APK file, file downloader any APK file downloader and download it from there so I'm going to open this app and I've already put a passcode in it but when you download the app it's going to be new you, this is what you're going to see it's going to say set password and this is the app then you can set any password you want like for example 157359 is equal to. then you have to confirm the password okay now in case you forget this password, it requires you have a secondary password and the secondary password works by if you write 1 to 9 plus the opposite direction 9 to 1. So I'm, let's just say I put the secondary password techno dot f dot p okay now let's just say I forget the password and it doesn't work and now I have to put the second device so first of all go one two three four five six seven eight nine plus then backwards nine eight seven six five four three two one is equal to then you ask for password recovery then you can put the password that you want techno dot F dot P and then it will tell you the password that you've uh, had on the top as you can see 157359 well as for the working of this app let me show you right now Oops. so if you do press the hide files just showing you right now it won't work if you click anything and this uncut it actually won't work it says nothing here 
so you can't actually do anything but if you press the freeze apps option be sure to give it a root permission and let's just say a few things that you don't want are here like google play movies and tv press ok and it actually freezes the application also hiding it it doesn't quite delete it because you can unfreeze it back whenever you want to let's say we got Google Play Books. I also want to freeze this. And Google Play Newsstand. You know what? Let me show you first that Newsstand is, uh, is there. You can see a few apps are gone. Now, Newsstand is still here. Let me hide it and show you. They'll be disabled. Alright, Google Play News then. Let's press OK. And I think let's do one more. Google Play Games. Now let's go back to the home page. And as you can see, <coughs> Google Play Games, Play Newsstand, Play Books, and Play Movies, and TV is totally gone. It's disabled or freezed, as you can see, but it's not exactly deleted. Is it? It doesn't exactly delete system apps. If you want to do that, you can also, if you if you have rooted your device through King Root, you can always do that <coughs> through King Root. Now let's bring one of these devices back. Let's go to unfreeze apps this time and let's say I want Google Play Games back. And let's go back and check. And there we have Google Play Games. So guys that's it for today and I'm sure you liked this video and enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.